So the question is, do you really need a cloud lifter for your SM7B? And the answer is, of course not, you don't need one. In this video, I am going to explain you why you don't really need one of these, but why I highly recommend you to get one. And we start right now. Bentolosa.com what is going on my name is ben welcome to my channel if you want to learn more about filmmaking photography audio and acting subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything okay so first things first this is a follow-up video from a video i made last year which is entitled sure sm7b best audio chain and perfect dvx 286s settings in that video i've got a lot of questions about my audio chain and about the settings i use with my sm7b but a lot of people ask me the exact same question which is do i really need a cloud lifter by the way this is the cl1 because many people ask me the same question i am making this follow-up video to explain you why you don't need one and why I highly recommend you to get one. So for example the latest question I've got about the cloud lifter is from Riches and he said hey I have everything except the cloud lifter can you make an updated video on the settings you would use? Yes absolutely and that's why I am making this follow-up video for you and for everybody who asked that same question. So on my first video I was talking about the best audio chain for the SM7B not necessarily the cheapest one so basically all that the cloud lifter does is to provide you with another 25 dBs of clean gain. Your SM7B is a very quiet microphone and requires about 65 dBs of gain. So you can provide those 65 dBs of gain from your audio interfaces amplifier and therefore there is absolutely no need for the cloud lifter. But if you don't have a very expensive or a very high quality amplifier, you're really running the risk of introducing noise in your recording. So now if you have a $3,000 amplifier like the Avalon Design VT737 SP, which is about $3,000, then you're always risking introducing some noise in your recording. Again, you don't need a $3,000 pre-amplifier. Many other mixers should be sufficient to provide enough gain to this microphone. However, However, I prefer to split the heavy lifting between my pre-amplifier and the cloud lifter. Because again, this device gives you 25 dBs of clean gain. So it's really up to you. If you don't want to spend the money on getting this device, you don't need to get it. But just remember that once when you plug this microphone and you give it all the gain you need, you may be introducing some noise in your recordings. And it also depends on the acoustics of your studio. The sounds that you have around your studio if you have a really loud AC for example and yes of course you can do some noise reduction in post however that will degrade the low frequencies on your recordings and therefore the fidelity on your voice the other thing you want to consider for example if you are streaming your gaming then it doesn't really matter that little noise that you are introducing but if you are making a file for a client for example and you want to deliver very 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 clean files maxing out the amp in your mixer is definitely not a good idea at least in my opinion so what amplifiers would i recommend you to use with this microphone if you don't want to use the cloud lifter well definitely the avalon design vt737 sp is a great choice however that device is, is super expensive definitely out of my budget and i guess that is probably out of your budget too so if you don't have that kind of money what other amplifier i will recommend you to use well the claret a 2 pre which is the one I use it's a great device however at least in my opinion once when you max out the amplification of the audio signal you do get a little bit of noise and that's why I do highly recommend you to get one of these cloud lifters because you will be getting an extra 25 dBs of clean gain and then you wouldn't need to spend a ton of money on a great pre amplifier ultimately it's up to you do you really need a cloud lifter for your SM7B no you don't so if you want to save 
save yourself some money you don't have to get the cloud lifter however if you want to split the heavy lifting that this microphone needs i highly recommend you to get a cloud lifter so you can split those 65 dbs of gain between your preamp and your cloud lifter and then you wouldn't need to spend three thousand dollars on one of those super professional pre-amplifiers so i hope this video was helpful to answer all of those questions related to the need of the cloud lifter when working with your sm7b so that said thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments below and i will do my best to answer them as soon as possible typically the very next day unless i need to research my answer in which case it will take me a little longer but i promise you i will reply to you as soon as i can and again thank you so much for watching and until next time see ya Bye. <laughs>